Hey everyone, it's Medina from The Clarinet Life, and today I want to show you what's in my clarinet bag. Okay, so this bag is by Woodwind Brasswind. This is their Allura brand, and there's a little bit of a backstory with this. So, I was introduced to this particular type of case during my undergraduate years when I was in UNC Greensboro. This was when I was getting my bachelor's in music ed, ed and there was a clarinetist who was getting his doctorate. He was studying with Dr. Kelly Burke and he showed me this case. It was a double case and it fit enough stuff. It was pretty compact and I was like, wow, that's a, you know, that's a nice case. I always inquire like how much does it cost because cases double cases can be pretty pricey however this case was not uh, it was under $50 so that hit my budget and he was actually in the market to get a new case so he asked me if, if I wanted to buy his case and I was like okay I had no problem getting um, a case that was pre-owned so he said, you know, I'll sell it to you for two boxes of reeds. And I was like, perfect, I can afford that. This, by the way, was when a box of reeds was not $30. Uh, that's, it's, yeah. So anyway, I exchanged the two boxes of reeds for the case. And that's how I was able to get my first uh, Woodwind Brassman case. So the name of this case is Allura. It's the name has changed over the years. Um, it didn't used to be called Allura. They have a single case version, I believe. Uh, I'll put on the description box um, where you can get this. I'm pretty sure they still sell them. But I really like this. And as a city clarinetist, it is super important that you have a case that is sturdy, that you're able to kind of like have your arms free, especially when you're going through the turnstile on the subway. You know, you don't want to have to have your bag on the side. And here's the thing. If you're trying to go through doorways and you're moving really quickly or moving through a crowd, you don't want to have more bulk on the sides of you. So if you keep it narrow, it works. So this as a backpack, I'm able to do that very easily. So uh, let's start with the exterior. Uh, has this one pocket in the back, okay? As you can see, it's backpacked. There's straps here. It has the feet. Um, I have, this is like my second or third case. The feet have come off in the past. These feet are still on. Um, has a handle here. And it has the side here. So if you want to use it as a side, you can. I've done that before if I'm like carrying multiple clarinets. But I normally hold it as a backpack. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Okay, so before we go inside, inside, I want to uh, share with you these, these sorts of things I always uh, think is important. You know, most clarinet cases or gig bags, they all kind of look the same a little bit. They're either black or silver, you know, some kind of, or navy, some kind of dark color brown. And so one of the things that's really important is you want to make sure that you have something that's identifiable in your case. Um, so I have, of course, I have my uh, business card here, Medina Clarinet. I have this right here, it's a little unicorn. It's cute. Um, I don't think I have anything else on the outside, but I do think that it's important to have something that's identifiable in the outside, but also something that's identifiable in the inside, just in case if your case gets lost or heaven forbid someone takes your case, you know, at least you'll be able to identify certain parts of it. It wouldn't hurt also to maybe put something that you can identify your own case on, like the fabric, maybe a patch or something that will stay. Like this is good, but it's not going to really stay. Someone could take it out, right? Um, I have a, uh, what is this? It's a badge, music badge, music notes. So yeah, so that's one thing that I will say is it's really important to keep an eye on your bag um, because <laughs> your most precious commodities are in here and you need it. All right, so now we'll get to what's inside. Okay, 
So um, the handle's here. You can. It has a little Velcro here. I I feel like I need to replace the Velcro. I probably won't because I'm too lazy to. Um, but it does kind of wear out a little bit. So FYI. So the first part here is this zip. Um, I usually put my sheet music in here. Um, I have Stan. It's a BG. I just, again, something to identify your stuff. I put a little mark on there. Um, I probably don't have too much in here. No, I don't. Because um, most of my stuff is hanging out on my shelf. But yeah, I, I can fit a metronome in here. I can fit some reads here. Um, but normally I also carry an extra bag. So I have my, usually my clarinet case and then another bag. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the inside. Uh, I might put the camera in a different direction so you can see it. So let's let's make that switch real quick, okay? So there's the flap, here's the zippers, there's two, which is nice. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. All right. Ta-da! Here it is. So here's a pin. This pin I got uh, when I was volunteering as a clarinet instructor from the Salvation Army, they have a, um, this is a Joy, it says Joy, it, uh, they had their first, uh, let me flip it over, they had their, their first, clar uh, like, music class, and they were introducing clarinet, and this was, like, after I, I graduated from, uh, Manhattan School in Manus, I think maybe Manhattan School. So anyway, I, I volunteered there, and that was one of the things that they gave me. So I had that in my case. Okay, so here is my clarinet case. These are my clarinets. Uh, it's kind of messy in there, not surprising. Uh, I try to clean it out every now and then. So let's go through. So these are one of the things that I like about this case is you can see that I can have one, two, three, four barrels. And as you know, having barrels is super important. So having barrels are su is super important because um, when you're playing with your ensemble, they might, or the orchestra, they might wind up uh, using a particular, um, four, uh, I like to call it uh, a, like the 440. So in the US, um, usually it's 440 to 442. In Europe, it's it's higher. Um, so it's really important that you're able to fit enough barrels. Um, barrels are really important for intonation. They're important to help with uh, the focus of sound. So it's really important that you are you have a case that can fit enough barrels um, because you can pull out and push in but so much in the clarinet, and we rely on barrels and um, bells to help extend our instrument so we can help with the intonation. However, I do have more than just these four barrels. So the other, uh, these two things, <laughs> let me introduce this. So this is actually an, a clean, I wanna emphasize the word clean, a clean old sock. And this is um, a knitted kind of sack that I have here. So let me show you what's inside there. Okay, made a little bit of adjustment. The lighting, I don't have very good lighting in my apartment. So uh, I cut off some of the lights to see if it wouldn't be so glaring. So let's go back to these. So essentially these carry barrels. So. The story with this little sack here, I volunteered and I, th I can't remember, I think it was around Riverside, it was in the Upper West Side, and I uh, volunteered and performed a program at a nursing home, and this one was a very sweet, um, well, some of them... <laughs> some of them did not want to see the program because it was bingo time. I remember one woman uh, was like, I'm not going to see this concert. Bingo's next. So not everybody's on the concert. But this one woman in particular did see the performance and she was very sweet. And she gave me and my pianist uh, one of these. And she was, I guess she was like knitting. She was taking like a knitting class. And so it was really sweet. And she said that it was, what did she say to me? 
I believe she said she didn't want my clarinet to be alone, so she made this, so she gave this to me, essentially, which is really cute and sweet. And so I kept it uh, as a memento, but um, looks like a little mitten, right? Um, but what's cool about this is I can fit a barrel in here and it protects it from getting scratched in my case. So I have this in that little um, compartment. And then this <laughs> is, it's essentially it was like a sock. And of course, you know how it goes, you wash the socks and then one sock is gone. I have no idea what happened to the other sock. It's gone, farewell. Um, but I decided to cut this um, when I got it from the laundry, I couldn't find it, so I cut it, and I have this barrel here, and I put this barrel in here, so it carries, it holds my barrels, and I put it in that compartment, um, because, and, um, you know, again, like I said, barrels are really important because they help with intonation, they help with the focus of the sound, um, so yeah, so these fit in that compartment. Okay, so I have a different location, hopefully, um, You'll be able to see okay. It's focusing. So I also have some cleaning paper. Um, that's what this is. I show it to you really close. It's um, it's not opaque. It's transparent. But essentially, like if you're uh, if you have water between your pads and the tone hole, you can slide that in here and it dries. Um, it works pretty good. I don't like the powder kind, so this is this doesn't have that. So it's Yamaha. Uh, let's see what else do I have. I have this tin here. No, there's no Altoids in there. Let's see if I can do this one hand. I don't think I'm talented enough to do it one hand. Am I? No. Let's see if I, can. I need to put the camera down real quick. Okay, <laughs> open. So I have in here some. Let's see. These are tuning rings. I got these at uh, Clark Phobes. Um, these are uh, denture pads. I use these uh, if I'm playing for a really long time and I feel like my teeth are kind of grinding the bottom of my lip. Uh, I have actually a video on this, on how to use this, so I will put it in the description box if I remember. Um, I have here some, uh, this is sandpaper, I believe it's 600, and I just cut into little, um, I guess slivers, little, little pieces and the reason why I have that is if I need to adjust a read uh, during rehearsal or during practicing I'm able to do that uh, what else yeah I think that's all that's in there so, close that ah, there we go so it's nice it's compact it fits oops it fits in the case really well uh, let's see what else do I have Pencil, hot commodity, right? Someone's always taking my pencil, or I'm, honestly, sometimes I'm the one that's always taking the pencil, so, yeah. Karma, right? Um, this, I use, um, I, I use a BG thumb rest, um, but I used to use these extended thumb rests. This is, um, what kind of tubing? I think it, I got this at Canal Rubber. I do remember that. It's like a rubber tubing, and I cut the slit there, so I can fit in my and the thumb rest. So it's like a makeshift uh, thumb cushion, extended. Um, let's see here. Uh, case cover. We have some reeds. These are uh, V twenty ones, four and a half. Um, this is cork grease. This is a crucifix that a student gave me. It's really pretty. Looks like a piece of art also. Love that. Um, okay, so this is a piece of fabric. And that piece of fabric, actually, I got it from, I think, it's a piece of fabric that I think I got, um, I was working at Greenwich House Music School. Um, I worked at, at the early childhood uh, department and there was a, a piece of fabric and I was like, oh, I'll just use it to line my case. Um, then last but not least, a hair tie because I don't like having my hair in my face. So yeah, that's basically it.
Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it for my case. Um, I probably should clean it out. I probably won't do it. I probably have the time to do it, but I, I just don't feel like it. So anyway, that's my case. And if you're interested in learning more about the case, or maybe you're interested in like some of the equipment that I use, um, you know, put a comment in the description box. Let me know. And I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care. Thank you.